In this video, I want to show you how you can stream a video from the KuCam Ego camera directly to your PC and beyond. By beyond, I mean YouTube, because from there you can pretty much get into any device that supports side by side from YouTube, like a VR headset, the Loompad, the Promart tablet, and others as well. Hello, my name is Andreas, and welcome to this Anavision channel. To show you how to stream, I'm going to set this camera before me as I walk you through the steps. If you want to follow along, ensure that you have the camera connected to the network, and also ensure that the PC that you're streaming to is connected to the same network. Uh, to stream on your PC, I am going to use VLC Player. Uh, for those who are not aware, uh, VLC Player is quite a versatile media player that you can download for free. Uh, go into the menu item Media, and in here, open Network Stream. In Network Stream, type in this address here. And this address here uh, is the address for my camera on my network. It will be different for your network and the part that will be different will be the IP address of your camera. I'll show you in a moment how you find the IP address of your camera. In my case it is 10.1.1.199 and um, once I've got that entered I'll press play and there you go you see me. Now I'm frozen uh, the reason that I'm frozen is because I have the battery saver modes that I talked about before enabled and the camera is in auto lock so it's locked at the moment. So I'm just going to unlock it and uh, that should start to get me moving. Great, okay. Now you can see there is a bit of a delay on that, that's to be expected with streaming. So just to see what sort of delay I have on here, let me just count to three. Okay, so one, two, three. All right. Now, you'll probably notice that even now, it's not the best quality. And I found something that actually improves the quality further. Again, you've seen it's just uh, frozen up again. To, to um, improve the quality and also to avoid this freezing, you can start to record yourself whilst you're streaming. So I'm now starting video recording on the camera itself and uh, whilst it's recording it will give you a much smoother experience um, as well. So it's kicked in now you can see that it is streaming and it's much smoother. You can see that the frame rate seems to be higher. I don't know why that is. If you want to stream I suggest that you record and stream at the same time in order to get this sort of a smoother experience. Okay, so let me show you how you find the IP address of your camera. Now, obviously, your camera will need to be connected to the network for this. And um, when you've got it connected to the network, issue this command. Go ARP dash A pipe find string dynamic. And when you issue that command, it lists all of the dynamically assigned IP addresses on your network. Now, your camera won't be the only thing that's connected, of course. Um, so it will be one of those addresses, but you don't know which one. Now, the easiest way that I found to uh, find out what the address of your camera is, is simply to switch off your camera, wait a bit, and uh, then see which line is missing. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch off the camera. And I'm going to try now to see whether that IP address is still there and it's disappeared. Um, so the line that has disappeared is this line here. And it's this first part, the IP address that we're interested in. And that is 
if you recall the IP address that I've used, so it's 10.1.1.199 in my case. So it won't be that for you. So in your case, you will have to use the address that comes up for you and have that replaced in the address in VLC player. Okay, let's take that up a notch. What I want to do now is show you how to live stream this camera stereoscopically in full side by side to YouTube. So for that, we're going to use an application called OBS. And again, that is a free application that you can download. This application allows you to stream from various different sources, including our KuCam Ego. So I've already got the KuCam set up here, but I want to show you how to set that up from scratch. So let us set up a new source. Uh, and this is a media source. And I'm going to call this the KuCam Ego. And I'm just calling it something different to what I called before to distinguish it from that other source that I've already got set up and show you how to set that up. So in this case, it is not a local file. In this case, we are streaming from an address. So I'm just going to copy and paste that address in. And I'm not going to modify anything else. I'm just going to leave everything else at defaults. So I'm going to go OK with that. And hopefully you'll see me come up. There you go. So it's already streaming me. Um, not to YouTube, to OBS. Uh, and you can see that I am uh, in motion. So I didn't have to unlock my camera in this case. But it is uh, staggery. It is not fluid. So I am going to do what I did before. I am going to start the video recording on the cam, on the KuCam Ego as well. Okay, and that does make it much smoother again. Obviously, you're not going to want to stream it the way that it is now because it's just up there in the corner. Um, in order to set the format correctly, you have to go into Edit, Transform, and it really depends on how you want to stream this as to how you want to set this up. If you wanted this to be half width side by side, for example, I could stretch to the entire screen. Right, so I can stretch it and now you see me in half width side by side. You can also transform this to fit to screen in case of wanting to retain the full width side by side. But then of course you're going to have black bars at the top and the bottom when you stream it in this uh, aspect ratio. Okay, now we're ready to stream this to YouTube. So here I'm just going to show you what you need to do to set up the YouTube side of things. So first, of course, you need to actually have your account linked. And I've already got that, but if you haven't, you need to first link your account to OBS. And then you can manage your broadcast. So once you go into managing your broadcast, you can then fill out this form try out the KuCam Ego with live streaming. I'm going to make that unlisted. And that is a how to style video. Uh, it's not made for kids so that I can have people comment on the video. Um, latency, I'm going to go with low. And I'm going to leave the rest at defaults. And once we've got that set up, we can create and start streaming. Let's do that. Okay, so let's just switch across to YouTube now and see what's happening over there. On YouTube, you can see that the live stream is already there. Uh, I'm now going to go and manage that. It's just connecting up to that. And you can see that the connection is excellent. And uh, this is in the studio of YouTube. We can also share and actually see what it looks like if somebody else were watching this on YouTube. So I'm just going to go into another tab here, paste that in. 
uh, there you go you can see what's happening there obviously still with a delay and I'll show you what that delay looks like so if I go back here and also bring up OBS at the same time um, you'll see the delays as they propagate through the system so I'll do that counting test again one two three and you've seen it on OBS and it'll take a while to get to there you go one two three you see it there as well and that's all to do with buffering sometimes there's uh, less delay sometimes there's more that's just the way that YouTube works um, so there you go we're live on YouTube directly from the cool cam ego so once you are streaming with this camera you can view that stereoscopically on the receiving end in a number of different ways. In fact, any method that supports side-by-side -side viewing of YouTube content will work. And I'll show you a few examples here. Using a VR headset, you can use applications like Volvic to view the stream. Volvic unfortunately assumes a half-width side-by-side -side format, so your stream will be stretched once you go into full screen if using full width side by side. For viewing with Volmic, simply browse to the YouTube stream on your YouTube website and then open the stream to full screen and set 3D mode to side by side. There is, however, an application like this that does allow you to choose between full width and half width side by side formats. It is the Virtual Desktop VR application. It is a paid application, but with it you can stream using either method. Simply play the stream on your PC and mirror it inside your VR headset using either mode. You can also watch this in full light field on the Loompad. For this, open up YouTube navigate to the video stream and then share it with the layer tube application then you will be able to see the stream in full stereo view there ensure that you select the right side by side format if the application doesn't auto detect this another device on which you can see this stereoscopically is on the proma king tablet to do this, run the 3DFV application and set the 3D service setting to ON. Then open up the YouTube app and then navigate to the stream as before and put it into full screen mode. Then swipe from the side to get the 3DFV app menu and select the format that you are watching. In this case, it is full width side by side and then you see the stream in 3D. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this little tutorial video. If you want to know more about the 3D features of this camera, have a look at my other video, a review video that I made on this camera. Thank you for watching this video and God bless.